सो वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल फॉर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी विच हैकिंग सो इन दैट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉलोनी पी सी आर बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस लेक्चर आई वॉन्ट टू रिकमेंड यू इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच माई प्रीवियस कॉलोनी पी सी आर अवर कॉलोनी हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एंड प्लाक हाइब्रिडाइजेशन वीडियो देन आई विल लाइक टू रिकमेंड यू टू गो एंड वॉच दोज वीडियोज फास्ट ओके बिकॉज those are the basics of screening procedure in genomic library then come back here then it will be easy to easy for you to understand okay so now colony pcr it is an another important screening technique not only screening technique after screening it will also help you to amplify your gene of interest okay so this procedure is often employed when you have not too much time for the screening procedure okay suppose there is a pandemic going on and you have to study your gene of interest so that you can conclude that yes there is a mutation or not okay then after upon after upon such condition if you use only colony hybridization so the technique is too much lengthy right so it will take too much time than colony pcr okay although colony pcr is used only for relative measurement okay that means it is just a short version of the colony hybridization okay so and i would also like to recommend you to go and watch my basic pcr video so that you can also get some basic knowledge of pcr that will help you to understand about the colony pcr okay so now so colony pcr as i have told you that it is a rapid screening procedure okay it will help you to rapidly screening bacterial and yeast colonies that we have grown in a selective media after a transformation procedure okay here in that procedure we cannot only verify that the desired genetic construct is present also we can amplify a portion of the construct okay specifically so colony in colony pcr suppose this is a petri plate this petri plate contain two many colonies so colony pcr will help you to screen them rapidly not only that it will also help you to amplify a specific portion of that genetic construct that you are looking for specifically okay so let's see how colony pcr is done okay so first of all we will get something like that right after the transformation procedure so by screening techniques that is i here i am talking about screenable markers okay for example the secondary markers that we have used or we have if we are using insertion and inactivation so those kind of tough stuffs so with the help of that we can analyze which of the colonies contain cells that have our recombinant dna and which are not okay then we will subculture those recombinant dna containing cell containing colonies okay so now after that this is our library okay this library contain the entire dna of a genome okay now you require immediate detection of a gene of interest that is present in that particular organism so what you should do the idea will be you will pick up a particular colony okay and then you will add it in a append drop tube then you can either lyse them in a small amount of water or you can directly add them in a thermocycler machine so i want to told you that thermocycler machine is the pcr machine where we are conducting the pcr process okay so there is a step during the pcr reaction that is called denaturing step 
and that is going on at a temperature of 93 to 95 degree centigrade and this 90 to 93 to 95 degree centigrade temperature is enough for the lysis of the cell okay and as a result all the debris along with our plasmid dna will be released in the tube okay now we will add our primer so again this primer is specific for the genetic construct and obviously our gene of interest okay that means it will ensure that yes our genetic construct contain the gene of interest okay so we will add the probe after probe addition we can either perform the pcr for 30 cycles so that we can not only get insurance that yes our gene of interest is present in that genetic construct not only that we can also get a amplified amount of our gene of interest so we can do this right so that is how colony pcr is going on okay so let's see this quite theoretically so it help us to screen bacteria or yeast clone for correct ligation of the plasmid product so individual transformant can either be lysed in a tube with water uh, by a initial heating step that is short heating step or we can directly add them in a pcr and that will lyse the cell during the initial heating step okay that is the denaturation and initial heat heating step causes the release of the plasmid dna from the cell then by developing a primer we can find out our gene of interest containing genetic construct and that is the idea okay so let's say let's consult one another with one, one another picture so here this is our transformed recombinant dna containing colonies so we will pick up one colonies first in a pcr tube okay then after that we will we can either lyse them with with the help of water at a short heating step or we can directly add them in the pcr machine okay and i want to also told you that pcr consists of three step denaturation annealing and elongation you can get the entire expl explanation of the pcr in my pcr lecture series you can consult it so during this denaturation step your cell will be lysed and as a result the plasmid dna containing gene of interest will be out in the medium if your colony that you have analyzing contain the gene of interest okay then when you will add the primer the primer will find out that that yes your gene of interest containing the genetic construct is present here okay and if you are using real time pcr that allow us to visualize what is going on live then you can visualize directly and also you can try if you want then you can perform a selective amplification of your gene of interest okay so that was the concept of colony pcr a another hybridization technique which required far more less time than the previous colony hybridization or plaque hybridization so i hope this video will be helpful to you and thank you for listening to this class